Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four, with my 10th entry. So did I fool you with the clothes and I found a pair of my glasses in the pool bag and do you think it's another day? No, it's only like an hour past the last one. But that's what they do on TV, they change clothes and you think it's a whole other day. <laughs> I'm not trying to trick you. I just wanted to get ready for the doctor before I did this. And then I called to check what time it was because I had been known to go wrong days, wrong times. I get something in my head and they called to remind me the other day and I checked my messages and it's not until 12.45 so I actually have 45 more minutes than I thought. You know what I wanted to tell you before? I start, when I went to um, Steinmark, what I do a lot of times, these were outside and they were on sale. Now, not only could I use this, I bought them actually for these because I can cut this off, but aren't they cute? Now, I don't know, I paid two something for this, which still might be. But you know, you're not gonna get this piece of lace, this trim, and then still have a wash rag or a um, rag after for like $2.99. So I do that a lot. And I meant to bring one of my bathroom towels. I, when I shabby sheeked my bathroom a little, I bought some new towels. You should see the beautiful lace. It's like this high. And you know, you open up a whole big bath towel, it's pretty big. So if I get tired of the towels or whatever, or when I go in, in um, Tuesday morning, I look at the towels because if there's anything on sale, really cheap, I buy them for the things that are on them. So I was just passing that along. And not only that, but if you need a little uh, roping, we have that. But I just love the, that blue on those tassels, so. They're shiny. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, if, you, if you see the new pictures I put here, that's my grandma. You saw that on the pillow when she was little. And this is me here. I don't know if that's my first communion. No. And my mom and dad. Look at that wallpaper. When I was, oh... I don't know, seven maybe, eight. Good looking couple, aren't they? My dad died about 20 years ago of lung cancer. Um, and so did his three brothers. Actually, three, died with, they, three of them died within three months of each other. The one lasted another 10 years, actually. And um, they were all dead before my age. But I've never smoked, so that's good. Um, my mom's 86, she'll be 87 this year, and she doesn't look it, and she's run, she could run, still run circles around me. Her legs give her fits, but she, she can still work, I'll tell you. Okay. Um... This is from Maggie, 2005 Cupcake. I took it all out of the bigger bag. That's why I was getting confused with the, that cupcake, and then in my mind I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's from, I think we have a couple cup, cupcakes. Some starting to come out. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Trim. Isn't that gorgeous? I have nothing like this. Very pretty. Extremely pretty. The 
be a special project I'll be able to use that for. Thank you. Um, now I'm going to call you Maggie. And hopefully, I didn't look, but I think, hopefully that's your name, Maggie. I don't know why I screw up things. You know, I kind of met um, uh, Violet uh, Lavender, and her name is, no, Violet. She has a different last name. And then her YouTube name is Vi Lavender. And her and um, Judy, Vintage Art, I kind of met at the same time. So it's not that I don't know who they are separately. Sometimes I just, when I'm talking to one, I, I think I'm talking to the other. I don't, I don't know. And I have to check twice. One time I did a whole email thinking I was, I was returning violets, but in the middle I started, I was actually talking to um, Judy. <laughs> I know. I confused myself. Can you imagine living in this brain? Look at this. These are the white flag bat pearls that are really nice because they're all attached. There's a good, a good yard or more here. I use a lot of these. Well, not lately. I haven't done much. Thank you so much. We have to have the practical things. Oh, look at this. I wonder what she got this from. You could use it as the whole piece or cut these out, which I'm sure that's what I'll do. camera says something about A.E. Lock or something. I don't know what that is. hope it's nothing detrimental to what I'm doing. Look at this pretty black. This is really pretty. I, I don't see it being from a doily. It's from some kind of material and another white one. I think I'm going to try to use one of these a couple of the pieces to see how it dies with some of the new things I read. Look, these have a little thing in the middle that almost looks like a pearl. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for sharing. Oh, here's your card. Ooh, look at this bling. I have nothing like this either. Ooh, they're squares, like four by six squares of different colors. Red, silver, um, like purple or violet. Ooh, that's like lilac, lilac. I have to keep my purple people away. And pink, darker pink. Aren't those gorgeous? Ooh. I I have, I don't have, I have some little silver, but I don't have these, and that would go perfect. That's beautiful colors. Ooh, thank you. So cool. You have such a pick when you're going to make something. Choices. Here's the card. Nope. It's Lisa. I no wonder I get confused. So I certainly hope, I'm sure I looked it up. I think this is okay. It's Lisa, Lisa Wade. And I hope I gave her the right name because I think I looked it up. Maggie 2005 Cupcake. People thank me for the challenge. 
I should be thanking them for sending me stuff. So, it's Lisa. She's Maggie. Maybe that's her middle name. 2005 Cupcake. Oh, I pray to God that I... That's her right YouTube name. Or else I will do this over. And I wrote it on her envelope. And I'm going to start doing that clicking shit. You know, um, Judy, Vintage Treasures, um, was telling me, I think she was the first one, then a couple, then Pam told me, and I'm thinking, oh, it can't be that easy or whatever. So I never really looked into it. But it's a pain in the neck running to the post office because ours isn't that close. So the mailman was telling me the other day the same thing. Because I said, where do, you, where do we put our packages that we want, you know, that are outgoing? And he, um, he said, well, I can always pick it up, you know, at your house or just, ca just call, you know, um, you go to USPS and they'll pick it up and everything for you. I go, really? He said, yeah. And I think they'll weigh it right there, too. But I, have a ma I have a weigher, a male um, scale weigher. And I had a box the other day to send out, so I weighed it. And then they had told me that it's one stamp per ounce. So... I, did, I was trying to keep from going to the post office, so you should see what this package looks like. It's got 27 regular stamps on it. And I put 28, I think, just to be sure. <laughs> I hope she gets it. And that's not the only story about that package, but I'll tell you that another time. So it's mailing the stuff that's the pain. Oh, look at these doilies. I love the doilies that are already... Usually I send somebody a hunk of something and they have to cut out their own stuff. Oh, I love all these. I wonder if she it looks like actually it looks like she crocheted these. Maybe not those, but it looks it looks like these are crocheted. Cuz we used to make afghans like that, you know, where you do three double crochets, two spaces and three double crochets and you just keep going, skip two. And that's kind of how this looks. I have a feeling someone crocheted these. And these, I think she probably got off of something. But these are the sizes that, like I have tiny ones and I have big ones, but some of these sizes that, you know, and these sizes that I need. Because when you're stacking them, sometimes you put one on and it doesn't stick out enough. You end up covering it up. So sometimes I'll cut them in half. The cat's out there and he's crying and whining because I won't let him in. Because it's the first time ever. He's four now. And it's the first time ever he tried to jump up on my counter. And that's a no-no. That's why I never wanted a cat. Those are just, I really, really love those, Lisa. See, for a person like me, no wonder we get confused. There's so, too many names. You want to know how I got Fava of four? A couple people asked me. When my oldest grandson, Tanner, I don't know, I, I, don't, I think it was just over a year, and we used to have a place at the beach, and we'd be there a lot. And he was really little. I could picture him walking around. And he looked at me and said what sounded like fava. He just started to talk. Like the fava bean. And he said it again. So I've been fava. Um, I've been fava ever since. All the kids call me fava. Now, my mother and then my, my husband's mother, when she was living... We had, you know, a lot of different grandmas. So when the kids were little, in order to specify, like, where we were going or um, uh, my mother, because we all live within 
a mile or two of each other. My mother, I said, we're going to go to Grandma's, and the, which Grandma? And I go, um, I was thought for a minute, and I thought, you know, hoop daisy Because she used to put them on her leg, you know how you cross your leg, and you go up and down when they're little, hoop daisy hoop daisy So ever since then, she's hoop daisy Not even hoop daisy hoop daisy And she used to work at um, Costco um, about 10 years ago. And, you know, give them samples and stuff. And I take the kids in there, and they would scream through the store, Hoopa Daisy's here, Hoopa Daisy's here. So can you imagine? So it's funny. I think it's just it's cute. Now that the kids are getting older, though, when they introduce me to somebody or something, they'll say, this, it's my grandma. Or why don't you look at my grandma's YouTube channel? You know, they know enough. Um, because one time I went to school for Grandparents Day, and the little one, she was in, like, pre-K. And she jumps up and goes, Faba, Faba, and she runs to me. And the teacher said, oh, is that, um, you know, like uh, Germans, umpa, is grandpa, or just different things. She said, is that an ethnic, you know, name? I said, no, it sounds like it, but it's just something one of the kids said one time. So... I'm Fava to everybody now. I have been for 16 years. Yep. Okay, that's enough stories. This looks like something really neat. And I undid the thing, but I didn't. It's been killing me not to look. I got this Saturday. I, I believe it was Saturday. Ready? Took the tape off already. Oh my goodness, look at that beauty. You know, two things I had mentioned, just slightly. I said something about a banner and something about a name. And look, look at this. Look at the time that took. I have to find out more about what they put on here, if it's just some Mod Podge, or if it's Mod Podge, rather, or if it's that texture stuff. And look at these. It has to be something. They didn't, they didn't buy them this way, I know. And look at the little squiggly. It's kind of like one of the things Karen made, except she made some little bigger ones that she sent me. And the pearls. Oh, let me get you and get it here. Okay. Look at the little, um, oh, you know what it is. I can't think. And Michelle is mini, mini scrapper. I thought of that. When my mind gets a break, it remembers better. She's going to shoot me. And look at all the trim on here. Isn't that shabby? And there's some kind of, I call them sprinkles, like on cupcakes, but I know they're not sprinkles. Um, but you know what I mean. Oh, look at this. You see? Trim, or if you put them on separately. And this is a thick piece of. And that was to like cover up the piece, but I wonder what that is. Well, I guess I shouldn't wonder what it is. I only wonder what it is, so I can make something like it, but I don't care what it is. Some kind of board or wood or. It's, it's not really heavy, but it has weight to it. Oh, this, now, see, this got me going. I, I was also looking at rooms, craft rooms. People did shabby chic. And I actually, I always wanted a bedroom like that. How about we do that? 
until next Mother's Day. Everybody can take turns coming to Florida for a vacation and help me shabby chic my craft room. <laughs> the one I was looking at with all the milk glass, and I did buy some milk glass this weekend. And, I mean, everything is just how I would picture I would like it. But that would mean painting and all that stuff. My ex-husband was good at all that. I mean, that's what I wanted. He, that's what he would have done. But now by yourself, it's like, ugh. And I've always hated to paint. But looks, okay, so she put some kind of paper on top. Oh, and this is a trim that she probably put text, texture or something over. People are so creative. Yep, handmade by Lisa Wade. I need a stamp or a, a thing or something to put on my, the ones I, I want to admit that I did anyway. Isn't that pretty? Oh, if I might have something like this when I was a kid. My sister and I shared a room. It was two bedrooms and three, three kids, my mom and dad, and then my aunt, who was my dad's sister, had Down syndrome, and she stayed with us part of the year. So can you imagine? One tiny bathroom. That's how it, how it is up north. We don't have all these big bathrooms. The little house in Euclid I have has one tiny bathroom, and it's been there 50-some years. That is absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if she makes these, like, sprays ahead of time and puts them on, or if she just does it as, as she goes. I don't know, but it's giving me some good ideas. Good ideas in no time. But that's okay. I'd rather receive other people's good ideas right now. This is absolutely gorgeous, Lisa. Thank you so, so much for everything. I don't know. It's like it, it's, it's like it's poking through the design. Really, really beautiful. I'm gonna do my one wall with some of the stuff I got. Now I'm gonna. Not only is it a mess, I have to clean it up. Now I want to decide and move stuff around so I could put all these beauties that I'm receiving up. is close to me. I'll have to look it up. She lives in Orlando. Basically, I'm Central Florida, Orlando. Orlando's like the next street. The way it's all choppy here. One street could be Winter Park, one could be Orlando, one could be Maitland, one could be Castleberry. So, she's not, she's not far from me. Hmm. And that's Maggie 2005 Cupcake. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate it. I'm sorry it took me this long to do the video. I have one more I'm going to try to do before I leave. And uh, I'll be caught up, which will make me feel good. Because I've been keeping them all separate, but I want to be able to you know, I'm, I've been putting all the bigger things on my table in the living room. Um, and I've been trying to take a picture for everybody. So I'm going to keep trying to do that. But Lisa, thank you so much for um, entering my challenge. I so appreciate it. It's nice to know um, you live close by. I'll try to... Uh, you must have sent me your email if I sent you my address. Um, and I, I'll find it. As long as my phone keeps working, I'll, I'll be good. So thank you again, Lisa. Maggie, 2005 Cupcake. Good luck. I hope you win something. I'm sure you will. Look, 
See, that's why I got confused. This cupcake, I'm thinking, oh, that must be her signature thing. But it wasn't. So now I know. All right. Sorry for all the talking. Love y'all. Bye. Have a good day. And if I have time, I'll come back with one more that is from, um, I believe, Vintage Treasures. Judy.